You're watching one of Goalie's Goal Mind Lessons, where we teach kids health, hygiene, and even safety skills. Go to GetGoalie.com to learn more. Oh man, why is someone face down on the floor? Who's that? It's flashbacks back. And today, I had an awkward attempt at a hug, and now I just want to lay on the floor in my sadness. You see, I was hanging out at the park when I saw my friend take a pretty poorly fall. When they fell, I ran over to them and went in for a hug. But they weren't paying attention, and I hugged myself. <laughs> That's okay, Zach. It's not always easy to know when and how to give a hug. But don't worry, I'm here to help you learn. I'm so excited to learn about hugs. Flashback Grandpa was scared of germs and didn't like hugs. So we're kind of starting from zero here. Oh, brother. He's learned many lessons, his life is absurd. Tripping and stumbling on every word. Who's that? It's Flashback Zach. I really want to understand this whole hug thing. There's no time like the present. It's three simple lessons. No way. Only three? What are they? First, we're going to learn all about personal space and how emotions play into hugs. We'll talk about what that actually means and how to respect other people's bubbles. I do like bubbles. Zach, I think those are different bubbles. Darn. OK, so we learn about personal space. Then what? Anyway, after personal space and emotions, we're going to learn when the right time for a hug is. Oh, okay. Wait, is there ever really a wrong time to hug? Well, definitely don't hug a porcupine. Never met one, so I think I'm good there. Then after, we learn what? After that, we'll go on to our final lesson where we learn how to give a proper hug. This is the fun part. Are you ready? Let's do it, Poppy. I'm ready. All right. Now, Zach, let's talk about personal space and how emotions matter with hugs. I thought a hug was emotion. Oh, brother, emotions, Zach, emotions. Anywho, think of it like this. Imagine everyone has a bubble around them. It's invisible, but it's there. This bubble is their personal space. It's the area around them where they feel comfortable. Just like this bubble I'm drawing with my hands, we need to respect everyone's personal space and not burst their bubble without permission. And this includes when we want to give a hug. So I should always ask before I give someone a hug? Exactly, Zach. It's always important to ask first because not everyone may be comfortable with hugs at all times. Everyone wants hugs for different emotions. Someone may want a hug when they're really happy. Someone might not want a hug when they're really mad. Can you show me your mad face? Whoa, whoa! Easy there, tiger. That was certainly a mad face. See, if I bring my hand too close to your bubble, it feels uncomfortable, right? That's what it feels like when someone invades your personal space. I get it now. So, before hugging, I should make sure I'm not invading anyone's bubble and I should notice what emotion they might be feeling. That's right. You're getting the hang of this. How about a little quiz? Let's do it, Poppy. What should you always do before giving a hug? Should you just go for it? Or should you ask for permission? Don't worry, this class is not over yet. The rest of it is available on Goalie, the best skill building tablet for kids. Your kids will earn points for every lesson they watch and even get to practice with pre-made routines. You know the deal, like and subscribe, and tell us what you want us to teach your kid next.